I call it the felt presence of direct experience, which is a fancy term which just simply means we have to stop consuming our culture. We have to create culture. Don't watch TV. Don't read magazines. Don't even listen to NPR. Create your own road show. The, the, the nexus of space and time where you are now is the most immediate sector of your universe. And if you're worrying about Michael Jackson or Bill Clinton or somebody else, then you are disempowered. You're giving it all away to icons. Icons which are maintained by an electronic media so that, you know, you, you want to dress like X or have lips like Y or something. This is, this is shit-brained, this kind of thinking. That is all cultural diversion. And what is real is you and your friends and your uh, associations, your highs, your orgasms, your hopes, your plans, your fears. And we are, we are told, no, we're unimportant, we're peripheral, get a degree, get a job, get a this, get a that, and then you're a player. You don't even want to play in that game. You want to reclaim your mind and get it out of the hands of the cultural engineers who want to turn you into a half-baked moron consuming all this trash that's being manufactured out of the bones of a dying world. Where is that at? under wraps the way it has. I mean, I kidded with you earlier that they would make sex illegal if they could. Well, they can't, so it isn't. But the psychedelic experience is as central to understanding your humanness as having sex or having a child or having responsibilities or, or having hopes and dreams. And yet it is illegal. We are somehow told we are infantilized. We're told, you know, you can wander around within the sanctioned playpen of ordinary consciousness. And we have some intoxicants over here. If you want to mess yourself up, we've got some scotch here and some tobacco and red meat and some sugar and a little tea. Forth and so on, uh, but but these boundary dissolving uh, hallucinogens that give you a sense of unity with your fellow man and nature are somehow forbidden. This is an outrage. It's a sign of cultural immaturity, and the fact that we tolerate it is a sign that we are uh, living in a society as oppressed as any society in the.